Hey everyone, so <clears throat> as the title would suggest, I've been going over Wonder Flavors today. The new flavors, there was, I think, Echo. Uh, I think there was like 11 or 12 of them. I have most of them, not all of them. I did add a couple of previous, previously released flavors to it as well that I haven't mixed yet. But yeah, for the most part, it's going to be the new <clears throat> flavors that just came out uh, within the last couple weeks. I know Bull City, or I shouldn't say I know, but I'm pretty sure I saw Rain going through BCF and they were there. So last, ooh, Vape Train has love now. So they have new Vape Train flavors too. Sorry, that I just got like completely sidetracked. But yeah, they got new uh, Vape Train flavors. Huh. <gasps> they have yogurt drink. Oh my god, they have yogurt drink. If you have not tried yogurt drink by Vape Train, you need to get it. Like for the longest time, you couldn't get it like anywhere. They finally got it. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to see their new arrivals to make sure that I'm giving accurate information, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, they have the Wonder Flavors Carrot Cake, which is one of the new flavors. So yeah, they have the new flavors. So the new flavors consist of Carrot Cake, I don't know if coconut rum is a new flavor, but I know it's newer. Uh, there's cherimoya, cola gummy. And then it kind of disperses. Um, but yeah, there's, I'll go over the list if you guys really want to know later, but I'll just go over the ones that I have first because that's the only ones we can give an opinion on. So at the moment, those are the only ones that matter. So, I already mixed these up last night because I wanted them to be ready. Instead of having to mix each and every one live, which takes a lot of time. <clears throat> and my videos are already long enough, quite frankly. So, that's what I did. Um, I have a couple different RDAs ready-ish. Like, they're clean. I do have to wick them. But I am going to be using the cotton threads, these things, because they're super quick. Uh, I mainly use those when I'm out and about because the cool thing about them is they have like these little shoestring plastic ends to both sides. So you don't actually have to touch the cotton, which I really like. Because if I don't have access to wash my hands. I don't like touching the cotton that I'm going to be vaping with because it, number one, it tastes nasty. And number two, it's just not good. I don't know. I just like to avoid it. I'm trying to find my mod. There it is. <clears throat> All right. Um, so yeah, I use the cotton threads like when I'm out or if I just don't have access to wash my hands when I'm changing a wick out. Um, so yeah, you can get these at adoreeliquid.com and I'm sure other places as well, but I get mine from her, so that's where I would recommend getting them from. Plus you can pick up some concentrates and e-liquid if you wish as well while you're there. Uh, my favorite from there is Blueberry Something, Hazy Custard, mm, maybe Custard de Leche. I think those are my top three. All right, so the ones I have to go over with you today are Cola Gummy, Frog can uh, Gummy Candy, Pineapple Candy, Carrot Cake, Yang Mai Berry, and then I also mixed up Hibiscus Candy, which is from like the last release, but I haven't mixed it yet. And smooth cappuccino, which I have no idea when they have that flavor because I don't tend to grab coffee flavors. But I figured I'd grab that one because I don't think I've tried a coffee from them. And I like to give brands the benefit of the doubt. 
There are a few good coffee flavorings out there, but it's very few and far between for me anyway. So uh, they fit every size coil. Um, I, j I tend to use wider diameter coils. I think I tend to do like three millimeter uh, inner di diameter coils and they fit fine. If you're like much bigger than that, which I don't know many people that are using higher than like three millimeter coils, but like I, I would say it would be fine with a four millimeter, probably not much higher than that though. Cause I don't know that the wick would be like uh, thick enough. Um, I don't want to like touch them, but you can kind of see there, like this is the ends of the one I just did, how fluffy it is. I mean, it's like, I don't know. It's generally the, the size of the strip I would cut from like my Muji cotton, which is what I use all the time. All right. Was there any in particular that you wanted me to go over first? It seems like they're pretty known for candy flavors, which makes sense because I think they were a, can a candy flavoring company originally or primarily might even still be like primarily that I'm not sure because it has like a little lollipop with the company name it doesn't have it on here but like there's usually like a little lollipop yeah that's a lollipop where the O is so I'd imagine they were at some point a candy flavoring company Similar to like a Loran's type situation. Momo, no. Get down. Just trying to get the kitten's food. Down. Don't make me spray you. I don't even know where the hell my spray bottle is. Down. Almost there. There you go. Oh, good lord. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh, similar to Loran's, I guess, in the aspect of being a candy flavoring company. I think Wonder Flavors is a lot better than Loran's because I'm not a big fan of Loran's, but I digress. All right, so the first one I'm going to do on the icon, uh, I think we're going to do candy first. So, because there, there's mo mostly candy here. And then the berry, the carrot cake. Carrot cake and the cappuccino will do last. I also finally mixed up Favora eggnog. So if we have time, I might vape that on camera. Otherwise, I'll just vape it in private. But people rave about that Favora eggnog. I was jaded because I tried Loran's eggnog. And it was absolutely horrific. One of the worst flavorings i ever tried. So I've been reluctant <clears throat> to try that flavor again. Because it literally tasted like sunny side up egg. Yeah. Like you're actually vaping egg. Which I I like eggs in real life. But not vaping them. <laughs> uh, Momo will get over it. Momo, that's not a hurt look. That's a pissed off look. Like I want her food. How dare you. I think you have your uh, emotions confused there. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try probably the one that would go with the other ones, if that makes sense. So we're going to start off with pineapple candy, because I don't think it would interfere with the frog candy and maybe the cola candy. And then we'll do... Uh, I'm going to try dripping over them. If I feel like they're kind of interfering with each other, then I'll switch the cotton out. But a lot of times you can drip over stuff as long as they're similar. It just depends. You can kind of taste when things are not right. At least I can anyway. All right. So Wonder Flavors Pineapple Candy. I mix all of these at 1%. Some of them are probably going to need to be increased. I did one because there are a couple of their flavors I need to mix low. And I wasn't sure where these would be at. So... You know, it's easier to add than try to dilute it back down to a leaser 
or lesser, <laughs> lesser, <laughs> a lesser percentage. So I just started low. And it's about one drop from these bottles to increase it by two, or no, by 1%. Because I was paying attention to that when I was mixing. Because adding a drop to each one of these isn't going to be that difficult. All right, so this is the pineapple candy at 1%. That's one thing I hate about cleaning these atomizers is getting the top cap back on because the O rings swell. That's why I did it last night. I figured by today they'd be like less swollen, <laughs> but they're still pretty swole. I'm going to turn this way down. All right. Yeah, I do like the cola gummies. They're pretty nice because they have like a sourness to them. And Wonder Flavors does do sour pretty well because like their sour blue raspberry is bomb. And it actually is sour to me. All right. Um, the pineapple I'm getting is good. I'm going to increase it, though, because I'm not getting much. Generally, I mix Wonder Flavors around 2%, especially for candy. Some of the other profiles, I'm not entirely sure yet. Like, I've been messing with the glazed donut lately. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I don't get much donut from it. Mainly I get the glaze, which is good because, I mean, a, that's a good flavor to have is, like, a nice glaze. But it's hard finding a good donut flavor because it either comes off too yeasty and then people sometimes get the Play-Doh. I think you either get yeast or Play-Doh because I don't taste Play-Doh in any of the ones that I've tried, but I do get, like, the yeasty, salty... Maybe that's where it's like a saltiness because Play-Doh is salty. <laughs> I used to eat it when I was a kid. Not like by like the tub or anything, but yeah, I was a weird kid. And for some reason, I really liked salt as a kid. Uh, so yeah, I, I know what Play-Doh tastes like. and It's extremely salty. So maybe that's like where the similarities are between yeast and Play-Doh. But I get like a very yeasty note from a lot of donuts or it just doesn't taste like donut at all <laughs> you get that too so two percent it's more pronounced it reminds me of i don't know if pixie sticks has a pineapple i don't think they do Maybe like a Smarty, like the white one, that's like a pineapple. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's nice, because I, I like those. I like Smarties. They're pretty good. Yeah, it tastes like the white pineapple Smarty. And Smarty as in like the fruit, like powdery candy, not, because I know, in, I think Smarties in like the UK are like, are M&M's. So not, not M&M, <laughs> like the actual like fruity powdery candy that comes in the roll. Yeah, so you can mix sour blueberry, blue raspberry candy alone. It just tastes like a sour raspberry. I think I did have to bump that up quite a bit, though. I think I did it at, like, 4%. Not entirely sure. Um, I did buy notebooks so I could have better notes because my notes pretty much non-existent. I'm hoping that I remember, which obviously is not working. So, yeah. But, yeah, I like it. The Wonder Flavor Pineapple Candy is good. It tastes like a white Smarty. So next we're going to do is frog candy, which I'm pretty sure it's like the frog gummy that are like green apple flavored. I don't know why they just didn't call it green apple gummy or whatever. I guess frog gummy sounds more appealing or 
different. And it is sweet, the pineapple candy, but it's not like overwhelmingly sweet. Because I don't like my liquids to be super, super sweet. Because it gets old real quick. Plus it tends to uh, make your wick all nasty and your coal, coal, <laughs> coil nasty. I don't think I have anything that... I mean, TFA's pineapple is similar because it tastes like a candied um, pineapple. But this, the Wonder Flavors, is a little, it almost has like the powdery texture of like the Smarty. It's a little bit more smooth. Because the TFA pineapple can be a little gnarly. Though I do like it. It's just a little gnarly sometimes. So this one at 1% has more flavor than the pineapple. Because so I can taste a lot more of it than I could the pineapple. The pineapple was very faint at 1%. This one at 1%, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be tasting. I don't know if you can hear it, but the crows are out again. Crows everywhere, and I don't like it. Not really sure. Might be getting some of the pineapple still on here. Um, I'm hesitant to hesitant to increase it because I already taste it. So I don't want it because I feel like this is a flavor that could go funky real quick if you over flavor it. So I'm just going to keep vaping on it for a minute. I want to see how much of a delay there is. So in the chat put one when you hear this. So I kind of know. Okay, it's not that much of a delay. Because I notice on Wayne's um, channel, unless he's just slow at uh, reading, which is understandable because chat can get crazy, uh, there was a hell of a delay. But he also, I'm pretty sure, uses outside streaming, like a program to stream in. I just use Hangouts because that's what I remember to do. At one point, I knew how to do OBS, Honestly, I forgot. <laughs> I am getting a little congested because I was getting sick. I'm still kind of like bordering, but I've been like taking, consuming a lot of vitamin C. So hopefully I can nip it in the bud because uh, in our row, like the first person got sick. She was out for like two I think two days and then the one next to him or her he was out for three days and then I was off so I was off during when he whenever he came back if he came back so it's like one no, 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 no. so yeah plus like the uh weather changed quite significantly um last week it was like 90 the one day and then the next day it was like 50 it was Pretty insane and my body never does well with that so yeah I don't know I guess we could add just for argument's sake a little bit to this because I get something I'm just not really sure what it is 
Chad already said it's supposed to be a green apple, which is what I thought it was supposed to be. So I already know what I'm looking for. I just don't know that I found it yet at 1%. felt Mumble glaring at me and she's, I don't know, she's right here, right? <laughs> but yeah, this is Frog Gummy by Wonder Flavors. I think you asked that and I just, my attention spans. Non-existent. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's like a faint green apple. Um, not super sharp. Not super tart. So it's about the, among the lines of what it probably should be. It's okay. I'm not a huge green apple fan, to be honest. Momo, why? No, 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 no. She keeps trying to get at the kitten's food. It's apparently it tastes much better than hers, even though the brand I buy them is super expensive. So you would think what I get is good enough, but apparently not. <clears throat> What's up, ST? Yeah, I mean, it's okay. Like I said, I'm not a huge green apple fan. I am going to um, change the wick on this just because the pineapple lingered pretty heavy on it before. So I don't want to mess with it. And we're going to also change atomizers just because this needs to be clean. It's really juicy <laughs> for me over dripping. So we're going to move from the icon to... I think we're going to do the... The Drama RDA, a.k.a. the BTFC RDA. I don't know what the hell happened to the drip tip that was in here. So hopefully the one I have in my drop solo will fit. I don't know what happened to the other drip tip. <clears throat> I don't entirely know how I feel about this RDA yet because I haven't used it all that much, but it's pretty good. I mean, it's solid. It feels good quality. So, I mean, I got it pretty cheap. It was on sale for like 28 bucks or something like that on my Freedom Smoke because I had to buy something else there and I grabbed this while I was there. Um, but it's really, really solid. Like, I don't know. It just feels very well made. I just don't know how I feel about the airflow because it's a lot. There's a lot of room. I think it's mainly for people that vape higher wattages than I do, which is most RDAs these days, to be honest. Um, we'll find out here shortly. I almost got the profile RDA, but I'm like, do I really need another RDA? I don't think I do. I was going to get a drag two. Not a drag two, like the number two. I was going to get a drag also. That was like the main purchase I wanted to do. But I don't know. I bought makeup instead, really. That's what I did. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just like having extra mods around. I don't have like a ton of mods. And especially like because my dad vapes as well. So, like, if his mod goes down like it has before, like, he's got a new one. He's got the Agus now. So I think he'll, he'll be okay, but, like, he was getting these cheap mods that had, like, the uh, 
RDTA built into it. And what would happen is because of the reservoirs where the mod is, um, it kept like shorting out because it will crack and leak and stuff like that, which is just a flaw in that design. Um, so yeah, he kept like running through mods. So And these O-rings are still swollen from last night. And it doesn't want to go all the way down. I hate that. I might just have to be more diligent and just take the O-rings off when I wash them. But then you take the chance of like breaking them or losing them. So it's like, I don't know. Why is it saying atomizer short? <sighs> ST's always vaping on something new. Haven't you seen the buffets? I don't know why it's saying short because it's fine here. Okay. So the issue I have with most cola like flavorings is they tend to have that bottle caps type of cola flavoring to them, um, which I'm not a big fan of bottle caps. I think they're pretty gross. <laughs> yeah, ST, I don't think it was the, uh, the RDA. I think it's the vapor flask. The vapor flask, I do like it. But sometimes with RDAs on it, because of the way that the 510 is, it's just kind of weird. I don't really know what, what's going on with it. It's, it's weird. That's why I tend to use only certain RDAs with it. Because like with my, like if I put my tugboat on it, I have to like push down and then twist. Otherwise it just keeps spinning if you try to, it's weird. So I don't think it's the RDA at all. This one, I am getting a little bit of the bottle cap uh, type flavor to it. It's not super prominent, but it's there. Um, I don't know. I actually have the wasp. He's chilling right here. I wanted to save the wasp for the more bakery type flavors. Like I'm going to use it for the carrot cake and the cappuccino and then the flavor egg, flavor eggnog. Cause it just seems to do well cause it's so compact with those type of flavors opposed to like a fruit, which I like more airy draws when I'm vaping fruits or like lighter flavors. So that's why I did this one opposed to that one. But I do have the wasp nano and I do like it. Um, the only thing I don't like about the wasp nano is it can be really spitty. It's really a RDA you have to find a good coil position. Otherwise, it's just gonna be lava city on your lips and it's not fun. Yeah, I mean the cola gummy is okay. It's not, like, cola-flavored candy is not my go-to. Like, the little gummy cola candy things are okay on occasion. It's not something I would gravitate towards. It's okay. Um, I mean, it tastes like it's supposed to. I don't know that I get a gumminess from it, necessarily. But I did just mix these last night, so it hasn't even been a day. Maybe that'll change. I don't know. Candies and fruit, they don't tend to change that much, but who knows? I do have the Wonder Flavor Sweet and Sour Rhubarb, but I'm afraid of it. <laughs> so I purposefully did not mix that one. 
I've had really bad experience with rhubarb flavorings and I'm just kind of taint, tainted, jaded, I guess, by them. So yeah. Plus I don't like rhubarb in real life, so I don't know that I would like vaping it. I don't know. Yeah, you are weird if you like spit back. <laughs> I, 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 ugh, I hate it so much. See like, you can see, see that little black hangy bit right there? That's why I hate O-rings sometimes because they get caught on stuff and then they do that. I don't know if there's a way to prevent that. But O-rings piss me off. All right, so we're going to move on to hibiscus candy. I don't know how well it's going to drip over the cola. We're going to find out. If I need to change the wig, I will. Probably should have just done the berry. That's what I kind of meant to do next. Oh, well. <clears throat> Momo! Jesus Christ. Stop it. Just knocking down my fan and shit. All right, so the hibiscus candy, I can definitely taste it uh, right off the bat. It's not, I'm not getting any of the cola anymore. Um, it's very interesting. I would say for this one, you'd probably like to, you'd have to like florals. There's some florals you can kind of get away with not liking florals that much. Um, I would say it's inter inter <laughs> intermediate. Is that the right word? I'm like drawing a blank. Like there's the beginner florals, like honeysuckle, which most people would probably like. There's like the intermediate where it's like you might like it. It's kind of bordering like the professional florals, like where you'd really have to like florals or know how to mix them. Um, I'd say this is an intermediate. Because it's not, like, super, like, beginner, like, where everyone would like it. But it's not, like, it's a little bit more easy to work with than, like, other florals would be. Um, I'm not really sure where the candied, it's almost, it almost tastes like a, like a fruit roll-up. Like, those natural fruit, ro fruit roll-ups. I don't know if that makes any sense. It's almost like a jam type situation. I like it. I don't know that everyone would like it. Um, I would say similar to hibiscus. Hibiscus. Why can't I talk? Capella hibiscus. Because that one has like a candied flavor to it. Almost like a gummy flavor to it. And this one does as well. But this one is a little bit more like earthy. I think it would go really nice with strawberry, maybe even watermelon. I like it though. Um, I don't know if I'd have to increase it for 1%. It's pretty good at 1%. You guys probably would. Um, I think it's pretty good at 1%. No, I didn't get eucalyptus. I don't like eucalyptus. Oh. Next one I want to try is the Yang Mai Berry. Yang Mai. Not really sure how you pronounce that. I've never had a Yang Mai Berry or even heard of it. Yang, Yang Mai. Whatever. 
But I like berries. I still have the Saskatoon berry that I haven't really messed with either. I did put it in a mixture, I think, once, and it was good there. But I haven't single flavor tested that one yet. And I probably should show you the lovely yellow. Because these came... You can tell when I get the flavors from Leilani because they have... If it'll focus... The beautiful illustrations. Uh, where was the cola gummy? Oh, cold Coca-Cola bottle. So cute. It's one of my favorite things about getting the flavors. It's just the illustrations on them. <clears throat> All right. Yang Mai Berry. Yang Mai. Yang Mai. Whatever. This one's good. It's almost like a raspberry, but like a dark raspberry. Almost a little bit of blueberry. It's like a blueberry, dark raspberry type flavor is how I could describe it. Um, can't say that I have any flavors that taste like this, so that's good. Because when you get the, it to the point that I'm at, that's hard to do. I'm still pissed off about the Inaware Blackberry Raspberry. Um, this one actually might be a good replacement. Maybe. Because it is a little bit similar. I'd have to pair them side by side. That is like a video I think I'm going to do at some point. Is redo the recipes I have. Not using Inaware. Because there's a couple of my recipes that are solid recipes that have in a where as a pretty important ingredient but they keep reformulating their stuff and not saying it like every other company puts like a v2 like if they reformulate except them i don't know why they don't do that it pisses me off because the flavors tend to taste nothing like their counterpart so it just pisses me off and i don't want to like make a recipe tell everyone it's excellent they go to replicate it and taste like crap because they change the flavor like that's no bueno <clears throat> uh, my room might look smaller because i repositioned my desk slightly to the left because they redid my windows i don't know a month or so ago so i had to move everything away from the window and like my one desk, which is pretty long, that goes on the side of this desk was like this way. So I had more room this way. So my desk was moved that way. I don't know. It's stuff is moved. <laughs> That's why it looks smaller. In a where it has excellent flavors, don't get me wrong. That's why I use them. But if they keep changing them and not telling anybody and the new flavors suck. That's a problem. It's happened too many times to me, and I'm just like kind of over and aware of. So I'm trying to find replacements for everything that I'm doing. I don't know how to do. Let me see if it's in my webcam options. Follow my face, autofocus, advanced settings. Uh, I guess, yeah, it's not letting me change anything. I don't know. But yeah, the Yang Mai Berry is good. Well, Inawara Biscuit, I know there was like speculation about them changing things, but according straight from Inawara, because Joey reached out to them, they claim that, that that flavor has not been altered, as well as the creme brulee. So, supposedly Inawara Biscuit has not changed, which is one of the prime ingredients in one particular recipe that I'm going to try to redo replacing that flavor, which is unfortunate because I absolutely love that flavor, as I did the blackberry raspberry, but... 
I mean, they mess with my lime, they mess with the blackberry raspberry, and they've messed with too many things, and I just, I can't. I can't. All right. So, Yang My Berry is good. 1% is good for me. Again, you guys probably would have to increase it to probably double that, if not more. But it's really good. So, we're going to switch from the BTFC uh, RDA to something more compact for these last couple of flavors. Plus, Yang My Berry probably is not going to go well with carrot cake. I mean, it may, might, but... Uh, we're not going to do that. So we're going to use... We're going to try using the wasp, see how it goes. I think last time I did the coil on this, I got it to a good position where it wasn't spitting back, but I guess we'll find out. I think this would be a good RDA to use for these next couple of flavors. Oh, snake fruit. That is one I had. Forgot about that one. I do have that one, I'm pretty sure. If not, I'll get it soon. Since Bull City has it. Alright. <clears throat> Water flavors carrot cake. Uh, I've tried a couple different carrot cakes at this point. The one on one is pretty good. Uh, the vape train. I wasn't getting much flavor for it for, for some reason. But I had a lot of people like that one. So we'll see how this one is. <clears throat> Cranberry cocktail. No, I did not. That's one I don't have. I don't know that I would need that, to be honest. I have Flavora Cranberry, and as infrequent as I use a cranberry, I think it'll work for most things. <clears throat> okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I hate touch screens on mods. I really do. I mean, they're cool, but they're annoying. <laughs> All right, carrot cake. Bye, ST. Now, mind you, this has only been sitting since last night, so since it is a bakery, it might need to sit. We'll see. I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> It tastes like it could be good, but it probably needs to steep. Uh, I don't think I have mascarpone cream cheese. Whatever ones I don't have, next time I do a Bull City order, uh, if they have them, I'll get the rest. I just don't. There's a few I'm missing. The vapor is nice. It smells nice. Yeah, creams and stuff, I tend to go low because I. Creams get rancid on me pretty quick. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this one. I think this one, if anything, needs to sit a little bit. I have not talked to anyone about a one shot. Um. Considering what I just talked about, I'd have to probably reformulate before I did that because that one, that the the banana pudding is what I'd want to make a one shot with. It's my one of my best recipes, and it's something that I think a lot of people would like. But I don't know how comfortable I would be with having that Inawara flavor in there if at some point it's going to change online. So obviously, I want people to like what I make. So that is one 
I would want to reformulate before even doing that. But no, I haven't talked to anybody about a one shot because, ow, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to even broach the subject. I don't really know how any of that works. I'm not a good salesperson by any means. The kitties are playing. All right. <clears throat> Last one we have is smooth cappuccino. Now, keep in mind, I don't like most coffee vapes. I love coffee in real life, but for some reason, flavoring wise, tends to be nasty <laughs> to me. There's a few exceptions. Ironically, in Aware is one of them that makes a decent coffee. Uh, I'm trying to remember which coffee it was. I don't remember. Uh, Mollenberry makes a couple good coffees. Their dark French roast is good, as well as the other coffee, which I can't remember right now. Can't remember right now. Uh, Purelum caramel coffee with condensed milk is really good. It's more of like a frappuccino, like a caramel frappuccino from Starbucks type situation. It's not straight coffee. <clears throat> um... And actually, Hangson makes a couple good coffees, which is surprising. I didn't expect to like them. Uh, their mocha, it's like a caramel mocha or something. That one's good. And then they have another one that's good. That's about it. I don't like fl Flavor Arts coffees. I don't know why. I just don't. Um... I don't think I'm going to like, well, has a, mm, has a really nice aftertaste. I thought I was getting that skunky, because that's why I don't like most coffee flavors. They have that skunky Kona coffee flavor, which I don't like. I thought I was getting that at first, but I'm not. This is actually really, really good. It tastes like a cappuccino. And at 1%, this is good for me. I would not need to increase this. This is really, really good. I'm, I'm actually surprised. I didn't expect to like it because I hate most coffees. <laughs> Or cappuccinos. Like, I don't like, I don't think I like Flavor Arts Cappuccino either. It's nice. It's like the, like, mind you, I haven't had, like, real cappuccinos from, like, a coffee place. If I have cappuccino, it's from, like, like, those machines. <laughs> it tastes like that. Um... It's a little sweet, not too crazy sweet, but it is sweet. Um, it's it is smooth, like it, it's it's called smooth cappuccino, and it is smooth. It's, it's actually really good. I think it would go really nice with tobacco. If you don't know, tobaccos and coffees tend to pair well together. I don't know why. I think the tobacco enhances like the coffee bean note maybe because it's a little earthy i'm not sure but they do tend to go well together and i think this one would be really good with the tobacco i might actually make some of this for my dad he might like this one because he likes coffee a lot That's another reason I don't use the Wasp because for whatever reason, like the more combat, compact RDA's whistle for me. I don't know why. 
I'm guessing it's the way I inhale them on them or draw on them. I don't know. All right, so that was good. That's actually that and the Yang Mary or <laughs> Yang Mary. Yang Berry, Yang Mai, Yang Mai Berry, whatever. Those two are my favorite. And I would say if you don't have a good coffee vape, that one, the cappuccino would be a good one to have. It's nice and creamy. You don't have to add milk to it or cream or anything. It's good as it is, which is rare. Like even like the coffees that I like from Mullenberry, I tend to have to add something to them, like a cream or sweetener or something. But that one I would not have to add anything to, which is nice. Whoa. What the hell happened here? All right, we might not use the tugboat, because tugboat is, yeah, tugboat is wrapped really high for some reason. High for me these days, anyway. Hmm, I'll have to use the wasp. And deal with the whistling. I think the tugboat I whistle on that one too. <laughs> so it is what it is. I want to try this Flavora eggnog. And then from here I don't know. Because I've gone through everything that I mixed up. Okay. Um... Hello, Giancarlo. Why is this reading high now? Was it this high before? I got some new battery wraps. I know it's not like super interesting, but I did. I got some skulls, which are pretty cool. I think Giancarlo and his skull reminded me of <laughs> this, that, and I think I'm going to change my battery. And then I got this anime chick. I don't really know who she is, but she's cute, so I got her. And then, like, this, which is a conglomerate of, like, cartoon characters. Like, there's... South Park, there's Hello Kitty, Grand Theft Auto, just a bunch of random, like, whatever you would call those things. <clears throat> a lot of people love the Flavor Eggnog. A lot of people. But again, like I said, I'm scared. Plus, it's just not something that I would, like, tend to want to vape. Because, I mean, I trust Flavora. There's only been a couple of flavors that I haven't liked from them. It's just... Eggnog is, like I said, not typically something I'd want to vape. It's not really in my wheelhouse, per se. Yeah, I did my laundry Friday, so it will be out of the way. I don't want to deal with that. can't believe my weekend. Like, I had a four-day weekend. So I took Thursday and Friday off, and I can't believe it's, like, pretty much over. It sucks. <laughs> I don't want to go back to work tomorrow, especially with the way work has been. But Kitty's got to eat. So... Gotta do what you gotta do. All right, Flavora eggnog. It smelled nice. I've smelled it a few times. I only did this one at half a percent just to see because I mix their stuff pretty low. Like what I've been vaping on for longest time now. 
with a couple of flavors in between, but not very much. My all day vape has been the acai tea. That's one I go back to if my palate's like overwhelmed. Because like vaping all these different flavors does kind of overwhelm me, especially lately for some reason. So I go back to that because it's really mild, non offensive, bright, refreshing, and easy to mix because I just do it at half a percent by itself and it's done. So that's what I've been vaping. I have to bump this up a bit because I'm not getting much. I'm tasting mostly the cotton. It's generally not a good sign. I got a very slight nutmeg creaminess. Maybe a hint of cinnamon, but outside of that, not much. So... Gonna add a little bit more. But it's not terrible. I can tell you that off the bat. It's definitely not a Loran eggnog situation where it made me want to barf. So that's good. <laughs> like there's not many flavors that do that to me. Like there's a lot of them that are just like meh. But there's a few that are like gag. Like that damn pomelo. That was brutal. All right, I'm just going to add one drop, see what that comes to. About 0.2. That's almost a half a percent more. Probably like 0.75 total percent. Well, the days off thing, um, you know, I work a normal 9 to 5 job and... Basically, there's going to be no night person with me anymore, so it's just going to be me in the evening. So I don't know when the next time I'll be able to take time off is. Because all I'll have are the morning people. There's two of them. But the latest person leaves at 5, and I work till 9. So more than likely, she's not going to want to stay from the beginning of her shift till 9 o'clock at night. So it's just a mess. That I try not to think about because all it does is stress me out and I just I'm over it. This might not be the atomizer to use for this. I don't know. I'm gonna try blocking off some of the air. Some more there. I don't know why I'm not getting much from this. Uh, my work is kind of hard to explain. Um, it's a weird job. <laughs> Basically, I order phones. That's like the easiest way to put it. Like we get requests in for like X device and we go and order it for them. Um, my job is going to be changing, though, because they're getting rid of that department at work because most companies will just do that themselves, and they've been doing that. So, um, yeah, it's a weird job. I didn't even know a job like that existed before working here. But, um, yeah, I mean, the job itself is not hard or stressful. It's the things that are with it the way that it's done the company itself makes it stressful and all the changes that have been happening have made it stressful um yeah i don't know i don't know if it's this rda but i'm not getting much from this I'm going to try it on the icon. I'm going to have to wash it off, though, because it's got, like, berries on it. Um, so I'm going to be right back. Vapor Ross Vape, you're in charge.
All right, so rinsed off the berry. Let's say you can see the kitten, but you can't. She just jumped down. Want to come here? Hello? Hello? Come here. Come here. Come here. I just want to see you for a minute. Oh. And I give her an update about how big she's getting. As you can see, she's pretty much a full-grown cat at this point, right? Yeah. So vocal. Hi. <laughs> that was the blue update of the two weeks. Is there anything else you guys want me to go over? Because after this, I don't got anything. Yeah, she's a very beautiful cat. Very good in general. The only thing that kind of sucks is she's not really a cuddler like Momo is. Like, she won't lay with me. Like, she's very high energy. And I don't know if that'll dissipate when she's not a kitten anymore because Momo always cuddled with me from the beginning um so I don't know if that'll change she's like a lap kitty like she will sit in the lap for like a little bit but like laying down like I do with Momo it doesn't happen she's too I don't know if you can hear her meowing um too rambunctious she doesn't like to sit in one spot for very long at all. She's a lot more active than Momo ever was. Even as a kitten. So. That's the only part that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, what brand of coffee do I like? Um, Honestly, I'm not a big coffee drinker when I'm at home. Like if I get coffee, it's usually from Starbucks. <laughs> um, and when I was making coffee at home, it was Starbucks because my friend worked there, so she'd get free bags of coffee. Uh, before that, I think I was still vaping Starbucks coffee. I really like their Verdana, I think it's called, Veranda, I think it's called Blend. It's like a light, bright blend of coffee. It's really nice. Um, there was one other brand I liked. Like, I started with a G. Giovanna. Something like that. I don't really know. Um, you used to have to get it online only, but they started carrying it in stores. It was like a membership type thing. Their coffee is pretty good. I'm not like a coffee snob. Like, Generally, I like most coffee, but I drink Monster. That's my caffeine, typically. I like the carbonation. I like that it has um, vitamins in it, which I don't think there's a whole lot of vitamins in coffee. I know there is some inherently, but not as much as like the Monster is. Plus, Monster's just more convenient. I just grab it from the refrigerator and that's it. <laughs> I do like coffee, though. I already have problems sleeping, so I don't think I'll be doing that. All right, so on the Icon, I am getting a little bit more flavor for some reason. I don't know why. The Wasp tends to have more flavor than most. Because it's so compact. But I wasn't getting much from it. It might be the coil that's in there. Who knows. I still think it needs to steep though. Either that or it's not still not mixed high enough. At the percentage I did. Which was close to 1%. Uh, and generally I don't have to go that high with Fulvora. 
I think the only ones I have to go that high with are maybe Blueberry Muffin and maybe Wild Melon. But I was vaping. Those are like the two first flavors I ever tried from them. And I think I was still vaping tanks at that point or using tanks at that point. So that might even be not the case anymore. Not sure. Haven't had either of those flavors in a while. Um, yeah, it's not bad. I just, I'm not getting much flavor from it. See, dripping it, I taste it. So maybe I don't, I'm going to add a little bit more. So it's still pretty low. Is dripping it a taste spot on like eggnog, which I actually do like eggnog in real life. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. Especially on the holidays. Like it just like makes me like some people are like the pumpkin spice like type people. They crave that type of flavor this time of year. But I crave like the nutmeg, um, which I guess it is in pumpkin pie. <laughs> uh, I'm more of like a gingerbread craver, which Eggnog, to me, has like a gingerbread essence to it. Um, so that's why I like it. I like that spice blend. And oh my god, I cannot wait for Starbucks to bring back their chestnut praline latte. It is like one of the best things I've ever tasted in my life. It's so good. But it's only around for like a month. Maybe two every year. Thank you, Vaporos Vape. I appreciate it. I want to make a vape that tastes like chestnut praline latte, but I don't know if I can. It's a pretty specific flavor. But yeah, it's super good. Like if you like gingerbread and you like coffee, I would try it. I get the iced um, chestnut praline latte. I've had it hot because my friend got it for me once and she didn't know I like it cold. Um, and it's okay. Uh, but I definitely prefer it iced. I'm not, a, I think that's why I don't drink a lot of coffee at home. I like iced coffee more than hot coffee. I rarely have hot coffee, even in the winter. I'm just not a hot beverage type person. Um, I have been buying the Starbucks, Starbucks, <laughs> Starbucks iced, um, it's not iced. It's the cold coffee. It comes in like little bottles or whatever you can get at the store like the skinny caramel macchiato or skinny skinny caramel i think it's skinny caramel macchiato um they sell in the store now it was really good so i get that or the dark roast is good but you have to buy like cream and stuff for that um flavor art does chestnut but I don't know how prominent chestnut is really in, like, the actual drink. Because uh, I've tried doing it before. It's, it mainly tastes like gingerbread, to be honest. Like, it's very gingerbready. <laughs> okay, so bumping it up that little bit helped a lot. I'm getting more of like what I was tasting when I was dripping it on my hand. It's good though. Um, I would probably add a little cream to it just because I like my eggnog really creamy. Um, so I would use like the Flavora cream with that. A very slight percent, like a quarter of a percent just to make it creamy, creamier. <clears throat> but it's good. I'm glad I finally tried it because everyone raves about it and I was really scared, but it's good. Yeah, I bought some of the sugar-free vanilla bean flavoring from, I think it's called Tahini. Tahani, something like that. I don't know. It's a pretty popular uh, coffee flavoring brand or whatever. It's good. So I usually add a little bit of that and a little bit of like half and half to the dark blend coffee if I buy it or the 
the other blend they have because they have like three or four different types of coffee so it's not just like only dark or only light like there's like a range of it which is nice and the ones i've tried are good um, but i definitely need to add stuff to those the skinny macchiato i don't have to add anything to i can just drink that so it just depends yeah i don't drink pop the only pop type item i have is the monster i have one of those a day and a lot of days i don't even finish them especially when i'm at work uh but that's it that's the only coffee i have hello max i'm actually about to probably come out of here uh fresh i have not tried the rhubarb because i'm afraid of it <laughs> i did try the eggnog the flavora eggnog that i've been putting off for forever and it is good It might actually, in a weird way, kind of work for the chestnut praline latte. Because it has that, like, gingerbread-y flavoring with the nutmeg and cinnamon in it. And then it's creamy, too. So it actually might work for a chestnut praline latte situation. The only thing that's tricky about that is the coffee note. And maybe the... Ooh, I'm going to add them together. The Flavora Agnog and the... Wonder Flavors Cappuccino. I'm going to just drip them on top of each other just to see what they're like. So that actually might be really good together. That's what's great about dripping is you can do stuff like this where in like a tank, like you'd have to add them together and then like if you come out with something gross, then you're just kind of stuck with it. One of the main reasons, or many reasons, I like dripping. I need more eggnog so I'm gonna drip a little bit more eggnog on it um yes I've tried the pistachio cream it was actually my dad's all-day vape for many months I still have a huge bottle of it because of that but then he changed it again uh now he's vaping a bearded zero zero clone that I made so he's vaping that now but yes I've tried it and it, it is good I don't really get pistachio from it to be honest but it's it's nice Those work kind of nicely together. Um, pistachio cream does need to sit for a minute. I don't know that I would call it bitter, but it definitely needs to steep in my opinion. Is Cafe Napoleon by Flavor Shack? I haven't tried Liquid Barnes Cappuccino. I think I do have it though. If I tried it, I don't remember it, so it couldn't have been that good if I don't remember it. Um, but this Wonder Flavor Smooth Cappuccino, I think you missed it fresh. It's really good. It's really good. It's up there with my top coffees. Um, I just want more because the eggnog is kind of getting lost amongst the cappuccino. So I definitely have to go heavier on the eggnog than I would the cappuccino to get it where I'd want it to be. But I think they would be good together. Mmm. Yeah, I think those could be really good together. Something to ponder. 
I'd probably add a little bit of gingerbread though. Capella's gingerbread is pretty good. Or the spiced biscuit from Vape Train. Or was that Inawera? Fuck. Damn it, Inawera. I keep trying to get away from it, but it just keeps creeping back. I think that would be really good in there. I don't know if I still have that lingering around somewhere. I'll have to look. But I definitely would want to bump up the nutmeg notes in it for what I'm trying to get. So if I could vape something even similar to that chestnut praline latte, that would be really nice, especially like this time of year. That'd be really good. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of what I'm getting from the Wonder Flavors. It tastes like a very creamy cappuccino that you would get from like those machines. It's very good. Uh, spiced biscuit. Biscuit base. That's what it was. So it is Vape Train Biscuit Base. That one's really good. So I think I would put that in there. Because that one's really good. Uh, <laughs> a little cappuccino goes a long way. I don't know if I still have tiramisu by... Yeah, I don't have that one by Flavor Art. Because like I said, I don't like Flavor Art's coffee flavorings i don't know why i just don't um i've heard that those are like authentic like espresso because you know it's italian and i think they're known for like their espressos and stuff like that so it's like more of an authentic and maybe i'm just not used to that being an american i don't know but i don't like flavor arts coffees i don't like the espresso i don't like the the other one that they have the other coffee blend that they have I don't think I like tir tiramisu. I do have Flavor Express tiramis tiramisu. And I think that one was pretty good. I can smell it. That's why I bought notebooks so I can keep better track of what I taste because I don't remember anything. <laughs> um... Something smells good in here. It might be the vapor that I'm creating. I don't know. <laughs> Why isn't it in here? Ginger, Mile 7, Churchill, Pistachio, Angelica. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Yeah, this one smells pretty good. I don't know. I'll have to mess with that more. I think the biscuit base note would be very, very nice to bump up that nutmeg. Because, like, in the chestnut praline latte, there are, like, crumbles. Like, that's the best part of it is, like, the crumbles on the top, which are, like, <clears throat> like a gingerbready sugary type situation um i actually looked it up online you can replicate it but it's kind of a pain so i don't know that i ever will but like the crumble is what makes it super good um so i think the biscuit base from vape train would work really well with that so i'll have to mess with them and i'll report back if i make anything good but i do like the flavora egg dog so just to recap everything because this has been going on for a while, and I think some people have missed what we went over already. So the pineapple candy by Wonder Flavor is like the white Smarty. It has like an almost powdery essence to it, similar to like a pixie stick or the Smarty. It's very good. I liked it at 2%. I had to bump that up a little bit to get more flavor from it. 
the water flavors frog gummy candy it's okay like if you like the frog gummy candies you'd probably like it i'm not a big gummy person like i like gummy worms and like sour gummies and that's about it like i don't, i'm not big on all the various various types of gummy um carrot cake was kind of weird uh i think it will need to steep because it is a bakery flavor and for me at least those tend to need to sit for a little while i don't think it's terrible but i definitely think it needs to sit for a minute um cola gummy same kind of situation as the frog gummy it's okay uh it borderlines like the cola bottle cap type flavor that i don't like for most cola flavors but it's better than most cola i think my go-to cola would still probably be the fl flavor art cola that one's pretty good even though it's flat like you would need to like bubble it up somehow but it's a good cola flavor um what else did we do hibiscus candy was good it is a bit floral so if you don't like florals you may not like it but it is good it's like an intermediate type floral uh similar to like Cap capella's hibiscus but a little bit more earthy more like i guess the fruit would be uh yang mai berry was very good it was one of my favorites uh, along with the wonder flavors smooth cappuccino those are my top two as far as the wonder flavors i tried today those are very good third would probably be the pineapple candy what else did we do? Did we do any other Wonder Flavors today? I think that was about it for Wonder Flavors. Yeah. And then Flavora Eggnog is good. Uh, I would just add a little bit more cream to make it a little bit more creamy. Uh, that one I did at 1%. That seems to be around the area I would like. Um, so yeah. And then the Wonder Flavors Cappuccino. And the Flavora eggnog actually go pretty well together, which you wouldn't really think because you're thinking eggnog plus coffee. Like, it sounds kind of weird. But the nutme the nutmeg and cinnamon notes in it kind of complement the coffee. So, um, yeah. If I find, like I said, a good combination of that mixture, similar to, like, the chestnut praline latte, because that's what I'd be kind of going for. And it's close. I think with the VTA biscuit base would get it where it needs to go so i will definitely report back to you if that ends up working out and provide you with a recipe but that's about what i got uh i don't know about ginger snap i don't know about ginger snap <laughs> and i don't want to add pumpkin spice uh, i think the biscuit base will work because it's got that gingerbread note that i like Pump i'm not a big fan of pumpkin spice like i like pumpkin pie loaded with whipped cream and that's about it like i don't like pumpkin spice lattes or iced coffees or any other pumpkin spice flavored item i'm not like one of those crazy people that like that flavor <clears throat> i'm not saying those people are crazy but there's people that go crazy over that flavor i'm not one of those people um i'm more of like a gingerbread fan than that so i think the biscuit base would be where i need to go with that one anyway uh check out mix and vixens tonight we're going to be doing a donut recipe or at least that's what the picture was i don't know where the girls would go with it so you can check that out 6 p.m eastern standard time which is about four and a half hours from now uh we are going to have some special guests on tonight as we will probably throughout the month so be prepared for that uh, we also might have a guest judge at the end of the month, so look out for that. Uh, some changes going on with the whole Mix and Vixens thing, but I think it's going to be a good thing and exciting. We shall see. <laughs> but uh, I made a pretty good mix for tonight, I think. I think it's different. Not something that a lot of people do. I think it turned out well, so I would definitely check it out. I don't know what the other girls did. I don't think they posted their recipes yet, and if they did, I couldn't tell you anyway because it's kind of the point of the show. <laughs> but, yeah, check it out. Um, subscribe to the Mix and Vixens. We have the Instagram, which I haven't been updating because I don't really think there's been much updates to put on there, but follow us there anyway. 
and check out Adori Liquid. That's where I got the cotton threads from. She has great one shots. So if you're not big into mixing or just starting out or just lazy, like I'm lazy and I'll just do a one shot. Like it's easier than doing multiple flavors and measuring multiple times. It's just quick, simple. She has the concentrates as well as the e-juice. Um, I do have a coupon code. I think it's just Mixtress. So you can get like 10% off of the concentrates. I don't know if it goes towards the cotton threads or like the entire order. I'm not entirely sure about that. But just check out the coupon code. See if it does anything for you. Um, I think that's about it. I'm going to get out of here. And um, yeah, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Bye.